Hello there, I'm Koosh, and I just wanted to talk real quick about PT Tank 7.0. I've gotten a few DMs of like what I'm rocking for my uh, utilities or, like, or whatever the fuck it's called now. Um, where is it? Okay. So Shield Tech, this is what I'm running. I like uh, Counter Attack just for like single target, so I use that most of the time. Um, target Rich Environment. It's probably good for like encounter two and three ducks in where you're going to be hitting a lot of enemies with your firestorm flamethrower. Uh, yeah, very nostalgic, very awesome. But let me just show you why I don't fucking use heavy flamethrower. So here's my normal opener, right? Okay, there's the boss. We're going to pull in three, two hydros, grapple. I run in, fuel, firestorm, rocket punch, rail shot, firestorm. Usually, if you have aggro. Your heat blast would have proc already, so I'll just throw it there, and then, you know, we're off to the races. Just killing shit. The reason I don't use, uh, the new, or I guess, sorry, old flamethrower, is as soon as all my abilities are ready, I'll show you. So everyone is like, oh, Koosh, why don't you use flamethrower? It's a flamethrower. This is why, right? Okay, so three, two, grapple, hydros, flamethrower. Oh, can't do it while I move. Yep, okay, it's already broken. That's why, because I fucking move too much, and I can't ever get it off! Uh, that's not even an option. Uh, then we have- so this one, I have one practical example of when I use this, is what I'm trying to say. We were doing Kefis, and Ray couldn't make it up the rock, uh, when we were trying to skip all the trash, so I pulled her. Only time I use that. The only time I'm going to use that! Uh, I pretty much usually just rock the two. There's like some fights where it's kind of fun, where you just rocket punch, oh, we'll just, uh, grapple. And rocket punch, and then you have your second charge grapple, rocket punch, just to kind of fuck around. Like, all of those are just meme abilities, except for that one that's not even ability. So you have these two just kind of like meme abilities, and at least this one I can get more rocket punches in. And then the third one was like, oh my god, all these options, what do I pick? I messed with Payday first, and then I found out right away it doesn't get the reduction in cooldown that Heat Blast does. So that immediately just, I crossed that off my list, then I went to this one. And then I read, each stack increases shield rating by 1%, and my eyes got huge. I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to be invincible, 100% shield, and then it says max stacks 4% and slows the enemy. Oh, awesome. So I immediately lost my PT boner. And then this one, it's just the heat blast that I have known and love. And I can get five stacks of shield now on top of my already shield enhancers. So to me, my opinion, I don't know. I'm not a fucking theory crafter person. I just, that just on paper and how my brain works, that one just seems like the best for what I want to do. All right. So this is, it's in action. A rocket punch. And I'm going to rail shot. So I got my two shield enhancers. And while we're waiting to get our third one up, you know, I send a heat blast. That gets me my stack of concentrating defense. And then, so we rocket punch, there's our three, and then every time we flame burst, we're building stacks here. So we can get ourselves up to eight stacks of shield pretty quickly. And it's honestly pretty easy to keep up. I mean, if it falls off, it's probably just like, a, uh, like a, a transitional period or whatever. And Heat Blast will refresh the stacks, it won't reset it back to one, which is kind of nice. And I usually just spam the shit out of flame burst anyway, so it's like, oh, I'm getting an extra 5% for just using an ability that I uh, overheat with anyway. So, I love it. Next tier! So next tier. Uh, we have stealth scan, probably just gonna take, because now it has like the built-in speed, so that's something I'm gonna take when my team needs the speed. Uh, this option, I could see an argument for it when, oh, I need more sonic rebounders or stuff like that, but in, like, for most scenario cases, I just set my utilities and just forget to swap them. Unless it's like a specific thing like that where it's like, oh, I need stealth scan. Uh, I've been just taking Mandalorian Iron. It gives you an extra, what is it, 3% damage reduction during your fuel window, whatever. I just think that's going to be better to use in more, or in most cases than the other two. But again, if I'm wrong, whatever. This is just what I'm doing. Uh, the next one, I just, uh, yeah, I'm just taking Pyro Shield because damage. Uh, then the other option, reflective armor, I'm just taking that. Maybe on, like, fights like I'm gonna be stunned, like Isaacs and shit like that, I'll do, like, the 30% sun reduction. Uh, I'm never gonna not take Hydros. I'm sorry, team, but, yeah. That, to me, this number 68 option, when I look at it, it's like I just see the Hydros. It's like 60 and 47, 68 is just hydraulic overrides. 
And then this one, it, when I'm doing like flashpoints and stuff, I'll take uh, the efficient suit because it's nice just being able to pull more ads in together. And But general, just all around, I'm just going to take Sonic Rebounders. So here are my stats, just in case people are curious. Like I almost didn't show them, but I know it's one of those things people are going to ask. So I, I'm, but I still have like a bunch of twenty sixes and stuff that's not fully upgraded yet because I still need ha uh, the hazardous comms because the new gearing system's fucking stupid. For implants, I hundred percent am always going to use the EP one because it's just insane. And this one, I just full sent while I was leveling. So like while I was leveling, I was like, I'm just going to go full tank stats. This one, I'm probably going to sub out for the. 20% uh, damage uh, in the fuel window when you're rocking the iron gas cylinder. So tanks will always get that 20% during fuel, which is pretty dope. Uh, my actual gear, I, I'm probably going to sacrifice a little absorb right now, but these are like my base stats. And then I'll show you. So like say we're building with our shield enhancers. If my shit will proc. Okay, there's heat blast. So with heat blast, we're at like... I think we can get to 70% with our three stacks of heat screens under the uh, heat blast window. So I can probably sacrifice a little bit there, but like I said, this is just me kind of leveling and just, I'm just using whatever the demolisher option is that the gear drops I just got. So I'm not like fully optimized or whatever, but I, I do have 14 shield dogs. I'll probably always, cause those are like the only cold dogs I have. So whatever build I like do go with and whatever percentages I'm trying to hit, I'm just gonna have to build around the 14 shield dogs cause those things are fucking expensive. Yeah. So I just wanted to kind of go over my options. Cause like I said, I've, I've gotten a couple DMS and if anything is just objectively wrong, I'm sorry. I just chalk it up to me being stupid. I just select shit. I don't read. And then I just PT tank. Because at the end of the day, you just hit this button, you'll live. You hit this button, you hit this button, you do big damage, you live. You're a power tech. If you die, then you probably did something stupid, and it's not the game's fault. I love you all. Thanks for watching.